my wife Sarah and I have been incredibly lucky to travel to some beautiful places all around the globe, but we love nothing more than exploring in our own backyard right here in South East Queensland. Today, we're ticking off some must-dos in the Ipswich region, starting with our mode of transport. And um, why do things by halves, hey, babe? No, I'm not complaining. This is just the start of our lavish day out, which involves a gourmet picnic, an historic mansion, and of course, a little adrenaline up in the air. We'll catch you up there later in the show. Oh, let's go, Mike. <laughs> Back on the ground, ours digging into the Lockyer Valley's fresh produce. Surely in the DNA of every Irishman to love potatoes. We check out one of the North Side's best kept secrets. It's a place for everyone. The first is Jill. It's early on a Sunday morning and this colourful market is already bustling. Everyone here is in for a bargain and to find the freshest produce this side of Brisbane. Right, and it's called Ken Kong. Kong and any? Min. Min, OK, OK. For 15 years, the global food markets in Logan have been a weekly errand for locals. But now, the secret's out. I'm predicting it'll be an institution for people from all over Brisbane. Starting from humble beginnings, its place in the community is something much bigger than just a market. It's just a way to help migrants who come from overseas to come and get established here in Australia. Yeah. And so a way was we found was the, the market itself, you know, is a way where people can come, you know, sell some foods that they can cook back at home here and make some extra income. It's grown so much. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's growing quite a lot here now. We have quite a diverse community here. So we started with Cambodians, we've got the Vietnamese, we've got Burmese now and the Africans coming in as well in the Middle Eastern. So there's a lot of ethnic communities here and everyone works very well together here. So it's really good. This is the cultural melting pot that Australia is known for. And it's stallholders like V who sell the best, hard to find ethnic produce. So it's cheaper yeah. and the quality yeah. is much yeah, better. Keep longer. Two weeks sometimes my, my stuff. It'll keep for two weeks. We're tagging along with Deva, who knows quite a bit about these rare finds. The bulk of the, the smaller vegetables, the specific exotic vegetables, are all grown locally. So people are, are growing this in their backyard? They're growing exactly right. They are growing them in their backyards, in little plots, little garden beds. When I grew up, avocados were exotic. So can you see a time when some of the more unusual um, fruits and vegetables and herbs will be commonplace in Queensland homes? We're finding people are buying more herbs, more coriander, more shallots and chives for their day-to-day -day cooking. This is bok choy There's here. bok choy there. Beautiful. Oh, Thank you. These are green eggplants. These are eggplants? The eggplants, yeah. Oh. So you can see the smaller variety, the purple eggplants. Yeah. So they're the green, the green variety. These are softer. When you cook them, they become nice and soft and slushy inside. But they're great in uh, Asian curries. And what on earth, what are they? These are called... Um, it's like a... Wrinkly cucumber. Yeah, it's like a wrinkly cucumber. It doesn't <laughs> taste like cucumber. It's uh, it's called a bitter melon. Okay. And the word bitter is there for a reason. Mm. The bitter part is really the, the top skin, so okay. you scrape the skin off and uh, you just cook them or curry them or deep fry them. How common would this be this is, in regular households? This is very common in Indian and Southeast Asian households. It's a regular food item for everyday eating. Yeah. You know, you'd have the two or three times a week. It must be so lovely though for refugees or for people that make Brisbane their home to have all this food that is home for them. That's right, yeah. yeah. So one of the best parts about the global food markets is our guys grow all this and uh, people who settle eventually find their place, find their way to these markets and they find all these little things that remind them back of home. Food brings people together. At the very end of the fresh food markets are the food vendors and probably my hardest decision of the day. What's for breakfast? I can tell you there is no Vegemite toast here. This is like a walk around the world. We've got uh, Cambodian, Burmese, Thai, Vietnamese, Japanese, food from the Pacific Islands and the smell, it's incredible. Here, everyone, no matter where they're from, is welcome. And it's a wonderful success story of diversity and community spirit. The global food markets operate from 6am until 12 noon every Sunday, rain, hail or shine, near the Woodridge train station.
Welcome back to The Great Day Out. You've joined my wife Sarah and I in the skies with Captain Mike from Pterodactyl Helicopters. Well, here we are, folks. We just lifted off from Colo, heading out to Woodlands of Marburg. He's giving us a bird's eye view of the city of Ipswich, including the gorgeous countryside. If you just look over your right shoulder, you'll see Lake Manchester. What an incredible spot right here in the Ipswich region to be so close to the city, but we could get to enjoy this. Absolutely. The thing, it's quicker for us uh, in a chopper, but even if you're coming from Brisbane, you're only talking 35, 40 minutes. I'm treating Sarah to Pterodactyl's gourmet picnic experience, set at an historic mansion in Marburg. Talk about arriving in style, what a great little trip. Mate, this is how the celebrities do it. Hang on, <laughs> you are a celebrity. Barely. Very loosely, very loosely. <laughs> 35 years operating in South East Queensland, you must have seen some little treasures along the way. Look, everywhere we go has little treasures, it's just a matter of identifying them and then turning them into something people want to go and see. And this is certainly one of them. Woodlands of Marburg has a treasure trove of stories to tell, not to mention it makes for the perfect picnic spot. We'll meet you there later in the show. Thank you so much. See you, Captain Mike. Captain Mike, thank you, mate. Have a good day. You too. Welcome to the Northside's best kept secret. So Venn Marketplace is located at 1768 Sandgate Road, Virginia. It's an amazing big warehouse. We're open seven days a week. We have over 75 stores within Venn Marketplace. We put all the sales through for them. We do all the customer service, so they just get to set up their shop and we take care of the rest. So we've got everything from upcycled furniture to handmade condiments to women's fashion to kids' fashion to pre-loved furniture to a store that's dedicated purely to pugs. Within our greenhouse space, we've got an amazing function area, which is called the Secret Garden. So we do high teas in there, um, functions, private functions, dinners, things like that. So you get to sit in this amazing space and enjoy a meal or a wine or a beer, because we're licensed now, which is another great thing. So where else can you have a beer and a wine and walk around and shop and enjoy this amazing atmosphere? So I'm Chris Riley from Chris Riley Art. Um, I've got this store here in Bend, I've been here since the start and it's just going really, really well for me. I love being able to come down here and paint live and meet people and yeah, show off what I do. Pet portraits is a fun one, mainly I do wildlife just because it's so much fun to paint, um, bringing animals to life on canvas. I started painting two years ago, I was at working as a tradie and I wanted to do something different so never look back, yeah, never been happier. Redcliffe Pottery Group so each member comes in every four to six weeks and each member has their own style so it's great because it gives you that eclectic mix. We've got a lot of functional um, you know pieces as well as decorative and, and structural pieces which is great. We've got pot heads up the top there which is fantastic in your garden. You've got your noodle bowls, your key cups, it's really diverse, it's, it's fantastic. So my business is Pika Bay and we started uh, about two years ago and this is our first real retail opportunity and so we sell a range of products that are really designed to help reduce the stress that comes with feeding young kids good quality food and so the reusable food pouches were our, our first product and we've just expanded the range since. All the Pika Bay products are designed by us and so you know it's sort of a, a great place to come and buy a baby shower gift or birthday presents for young kids as well. Fender's done an amazing job of just creating a space that's really great for toddlers and you know young kids, but also um, babies because it's this fabulous play area in the cafe. One other thing now that we've got at Bend is we're open late night, every Friday night now. So rain, hail or shine, every Friday we'll be open till 9pm. So I guess what we've created here at Bend is somewhere where it's a place for everyone. Families, friends can come and catch up. Something to bring the community together, not only for small businesses, um, but all local family and friends as well. The Lockyer Valley is located between the Great Dividing Range, Toowoomba and Laidley. This lush corner of South East Queensland is often referred to as Australia's salad bowl and for very good reason. The valley is one of the top 10 most fertile farming regions 
on the planet, and that is due to, in very large part, the quality of this extraordinary alluvial soil. I'll save you the Google search. It's the nutrition of the soil. It, it's got a complete range of every trace element, every mineral you, you require to grow a healthy crop, and that's what gives it a great flavour. And Anthony Bauer would know he's a fifth generation farmer. His family have worked this rich, fertile land since 1885. He now runs his own farm, Lockyer Valley Organics, at Mount Sylvia. We grow organic food for, for 26 years, and it, it means we take away the chemical. We don't have any artificial in, in the plant or in the soil. So we create a living soil. So it's got full of biology, full of uh, fungi, bacteria, the whole thing's alive. And that, that's half of the, of the story. And then we've got the nutrition uh, on top of that. So it's a, it's a, it's a, I believe it's a far superior product, um, very healthy. Anthony grows a huge range of organic veggies on his 500 acres. 500 acres? Yes. Goodness, it's like Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> His carrots are on my shopping list today. Stuff straight from the earth. I mean, you know. Yeah, can't beat it. They cannot beat it, so that's magic. Look at that. Yeah. Lockyer Valley at its best. I do have a wee plan for these carrots, and Anthony has kindly let me forage for a few more ingredients. Surely in the DNA of every Irishman to love potatoes. Butternut plucked from the earth in which it is grown. That makes me smile. And do you know what else makes me smile? A great roadside veggie stall. I'll grab that as well. Hey. Lindsay runs the Gatton Esk Road Veggie Stall, a one stop shop for local fruit and veg. You're a real advocate for the yeah. produce that's grown yeah. in this valley. Why yeah. is that important to you? Well, it is to get to, to help the farmers out. And yeah. We don't need to buy outside if it's all here. And with this bounty of local goodies, it'd be sacrilege to not let it shine on the plate. Thank you, sir. That's great. You'll, sure. you're, you'll be making me look good. Oh, well, I hope so. Yeah, thanks, thanks so. a lot. Great stuff. All right, I'll take... see you next time. All right, thanks, all right, mate. Bye. See ya. I'm going to be cooking up a storm at nearby Brunel Homestead. The gorgeous b and is situated just outside Laidley with incredible views over the Lockyer Valley. It's the perfect place to settle in for a weekend away with a range of accommodation options, from the heritage homestead to the modern self-contained luxury cabins. There are spacious rooms, cosy lounges, and did I mention the kitchen? What do you cook when you're in Australia's salad bowl? A warm salad of lemon roasted roots with soft curd, crushed avocado with greens and quinoa, and a melon, feta, and marinated olive salad. And this really reflects how I like to cook. Nothing, with no rhombuses or parallelograms. Vegetables simply prepared, still with the skin on the vegetables. Um, and then we're gonna roast all these wonderful symphony of vegetables with a bit of rosemary. Beautiful. That's potato, sweet potato, purple and orange carrots, pumpkin and beetroot with fresh lemon on top. And we roast these 190 degrees, maybe 40 minutes, bearing in mind that some of the vegetables might be ready a little bit earlier, but because we've got them in nice little lines, it's easier to fish them out. While they're cooking, onto the avocado, greens and quinoa salad. Tear the avocado, add lemon juice, Char grill the zucchini, add spring onions to the bowl, halved snow peas, fresh mint and parsley, olive oil, throw in the lemony avocado, cooked quinoa, and toss together. For the watermelon salad, slice the watermelon. When you're waiting for a meal in the restaurant, this is what the chef's doing, tasting his food. That's why it takes so long. <laughs> Add pan-warmed, marinated olives, crumble the feta on top, sprinkle with fresh mint and basil leaves, and finish with olive oil and sea salt. So in the time it takes the vegetables to roast, we prepare the other salads. There's no need to complicate your cooking, especially when you have such wonderful ingredients. To finish the roast medley, add fresh herbs, olive oil, sea salt, and goat's curd. Quite extraordinary to think when you look at the sort of the variety of these salads from sort of leafy greens right through to sort of hearty roots it just shows how prodigious this area is for food production you'll find my recipes on the great day out website as well as a bunch of tips on where to forage for a fresh haul of your own sarah and i have touched down in marburg in the city of ipswich 
It's home to the heritage-listed woodlands of Marburg, built for Thomas Lorimer Smith, a prominent businessman of his time. So beautiful. Yeah, construction started in 1889. It was completed in 1890, so nearly 130 years old. David discovered the mansion a year ago and knew he wanted to share its incredible history. This was the family's uh, dining room and would have been the lounge room. Um, so it is all locally sourced cedar, which was pretty handy considering he was a timber merchant. Yep. So yeah. it made life a bit easier. You can but you can smell it. Yeah. Clearly money was no object for the Smith family. But in case you need convincing, check out the size of their safe. So it was one of the most secure facilities in the day. Many of the local banks, when they had like a big influx, a mining boom or something like that, they'd actually bring their cash out here and borrow space in Thomas's safe. Yeah, so he's a pretty prominent man. Thomas did have a, a bath installed here, so wow. he used to yeah sit in here and marvel at all his wealth. As which, you do. Yeah, good on him, half his lap, I think. Tours through the mansion also include some hair-raising stories. Is this where the ghosts are? Uh, ghosts are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> One night, the festoon lights across the back lawn there, they plug in upstairs. So another function finished and I went up after midnight and went up to switch those lights off. And I heard there was no mistake about it. It wasn't like it kind of sounded like. It was absolutely somebody walking around the uh, balcony upstairs. And I actually called Michael and I said, what are you doing, mate, you know? And he's like, mate, I'm at home. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll be, I'm leaving now. Yeah. David, on that, yeah, I think yeah, let's yeah. get out of here. Go. That's all good. Come on, you can do it. It's safety numbers. Good. Thankfully, the next part of our tour is outdoors. In 1944, the mansion was sold to the Order of the Divine Word and became a seminary. This area, as well as the tennis court and pool, were built by the resident monks. No doubt it was hard yakka, something David and his business partner Michael are all too familiar with. They restore the estate to its former glory, transforming it into a heritage listed resort. There's on-site accommodation, the Tommy Smith Cafe and facilities for guests to enjoy. It's a labour of love. We get instant gratification when we mow the lawn and we stand back and go, ah, oh, it looks amazing. Um, and then you get that, you know, that follow through when other people are appreciating the place as well. So, babe, here's something I prepared earlier. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. How good is this? OK, I can't take all the credit. Tarn from Soul Nook Collective may have had something to do with this setup. Tarn, it smells beautiful, it looks beautiful, it tastes beautiful. This really is a no fuss concept for, uh, for picnics, isn't it? Definitely. We do all the work and you just show up and enjoy it. Which is what we've done. Yeah. <laughs> What a great concept for your business and the ability to collaborate with other businesses around Ipswich. Yeah, absolutely. Like We have the guys from Pterodactyl who can fly you in to, for a picnic for two in a romantic location and two of the mansion at the same time. So what more could a girl want? And what more can a boy <laughs> want? I think just a picture-perfect sunset. That's it, definitely. We've certainly had a top-notch day. Pterodactyl Helicopter's gourmet picnic experience includes drop-off and pick-up from your picnic destination. Your package also includes a guided tour of Woodlands of Marburg, as well as a beautiful picnic by Soul Nook Collective. So there's no need to lift a finger. You had a good day? It has been an amazing day. Mm, I think it's going to be hard to top this day day. Private helicopter tour, private tour of a historic mansion, private sunset, tick. <laughs> I'm doing all right, I think. We hope we've given you plenty of great ideas for a way you can spend a great day out with your loved ones in our own backyard here in South East Queensland. We hope to see you next week for another great day out. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>